الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبه للمتقين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وبعد the prophets my brothers and sisters were sent as a guidance to mankind many nations received prophets and all of the prophets they had one call الانبياء كلهم دعوا الى دعوه واحده that they call to one call and that was wa'budu Allah wa la tushriku bihi shay'a and that is to worship Allah alone and not to ascribe any partners with him all of the prophets they were united upon this la nufarriqu bayna ahadin min rusul we do not separate the call of any of the prophets their call was all one and that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone however their rasail and their risala the message which they came with the legislations of the message may have differed slightly but the core message and the call was one and from the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sent messengers to his people with wisdom and he sent messengers to a people that would aid them in their dawa so the messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given the quran why because at the time of the messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there were individuals that were rich in balagha and lugha in language and shi'r and poetry so due to that fact the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with the best kalam and the best speech moses musa alayhi salatu wasalam was sent to a people that what was widespread with them was magic sihr was widespread amongst these people so musa alayhi salatu wasalam was sent with mu'jizat miracles miracles to tackle these magicians to show them that is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Jesus Isa ben Maryam the son of Mary he was sent to a people that gave importance to ilaj wa ihtam bil ilaj al marad that gave importance to curing the sick they gave importance and they were known for individuals to try to clear or try to um solve and try to uh, what's that word i'm looking for cure try to cure the sick so then isa ben maryam was sent with some miracles regarding how to cure the sick and inshallah regarding isa ben maryam then we will mention some of his mu'jizat we will mention some of the things that he was sent with first and foremost isa ben maryam He was born without a father. He was born without a father as Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran. When his mother Mary she said, "Qalat rabbi anni yakunu li walad wa lam yamsasni bashar." Oh my Lord, when she was given good tidings regarding receiving a child, she said, "Oh my Lord, no man has touched me. No man has touched me." And then Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala he says idha qawa amran fa inna ma yaqul lahu kun fa yakun that when Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees an affair a matter all Allah says is be and it is done so that is the first miracle of Jesus that he was born without a father likewise Isa ibn Maryam he spoke from the cradle as a child and a baby in the cradle when the people they came to his mother and they questioned his mother by saying what have you done meaning that you are pregnant and you are half one you have given birth to a child and she was known not to have a man or a husband and they said to her that you are a right, your parents were righteous individuals your parents were righteous what have you done meaning that what have you done by way of fornication and then she pointed towards the child and then they replied by saying What should we do with the child in the cradle? What is the intent? What should we do with him? And then the child he spoke and he said, "Qal 
Ini Abdullah. Then the child spoke and said, Verily, I am the slave of Allah. Atani al Kitab wa Jaalani Nabiya. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me the book, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made me a prophet. From the miracles of Isa ben Maryam is that he took clay and with the permission of Allah made that clay into a form of a bird and then life came into that bird with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise, curing the individuals that had leprosy and the blind one from childbirth that could not see from the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Muslims, they believe what Allah has mentioned in the Quran. But we say with the permission of Allah, that are with the permission of Allah and not that he was from Isa bin Maryam himself. But yes, he cured the sick. He gave life to the death. And likewise, the miracle of when the companions, al Hawariyun, they requested from Isa bin Maryam, that request from Allah, from your Lord, to send down a ma'idah min as sama to bring down food from the heavens. So then Isa ibn Maryam, he made dua, he made dua and he supplicated to Allah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a ma'idah, sent down food from the heavens, which they ate from. These were some of the miracles of Isa ibn Maryam. So what do we believe as a Muslim regarding Isa ben Maryam? First and foremost, a Muslim, he believes that Isa ben Maryam is a prophet of Allah. Jesus, the son of Mary, the Muslims, they believe that he is a prophet of Allah and he is not a son. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refutes that argument in the Quran and he says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Say, O oh Muhammad, that Allah is one. Allah is Samad, the self-sufficient. Lam yulid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor was he begotten. Meaning that he does not have a son. He does not have a child. Wa lam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. And there is none equal and comparable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we say regarding Isa ben Maryam, is what Allah mentions. And the Isa in the law kamathali Adam. That the example of Jesus, Isa with Allah, is the same example of Adam. Allah created him from dust. Then Allah said to him, Be, and he was. Allah said, Be, and he was. So our argument is. If we attribute, or should we say, they who attribute Allah of having a son due to the fact that he did not have a father, then what about Adam? Adam alayhi salatu was salam. For verily he had no father and he had no mother. So what do we say regarding Adam? What is Adam then to Allah? Who is, Al who is Adam's father and mother? But rather... The argument is not for us to let our minds drift, but we take the revelation of what Allah has mentioned. And the example of Isa is the example of Adam. Allah created them from dust and clay, and then Allah gave that command to be, and they was, be, and they was there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qadirun ala kulli shay. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capable of all things. أقول قولي هذا استغفر لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد from the beliefs of a Muslim regarding the prophets and the prophet Jesus the son of Mary Isa ben Maryam is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed us that he was not crucified 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us that Jesus was not killed. But rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he explains why in the Quran and he says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّ لَهُمْ Allah, he says that Jesus, he was not killed and he was not crucified. But rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made someone to resemble him. To resemble his face. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there on after he says, Bal Rafaullahu ilay wa kana Allahu Aziz and Hakima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, But rather we raised Isa to us, meaning to the heavens. He was protected and he was raised. And the belief of a Muslim, as the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned, that Jesus, the son of Mary, who the Muslims hold to be a prophet, will return. He will return unto the earth. It is narrated in an authentic hadith. The noble messenger Muhammad وسلم, said he will return upon to the earth. He will come back to a place by the name of Damishq, which is Damascus. And he will be brought down by angels. And there... The noble ones and the knowledgeable ones will know of him when he enters the masjid. And they will request him to lead the salah, to lead them in prayer. And he will say that I am the follower of the deen of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. I cannot lead you in salah. And he will be led in salah. The belief of the Muslim which is collected from the Messenger Muhammad wasallam, likewise he will be the one that will kill Masih al-Dajjal, the one-eyed liar, the enemy to mankind, the one that will claim to be a prophet, and the one that will be claiming to be Allah, but his claim is false. That individual, he will be killed by Jesus. And likewise, it is also authentically reported that Isa ben Maryam, he will marry, and he will have children, and then he will die a natural death. So this is the belief regarding the Muslim. And thereon after he will come and he will bear witness against those who made him into a God. He will bear witness, Jesus himself, he will bear witness against those who took him as a Lord. Those who took him and his mother as a Lord and worshipped them besides Allah. For verily his call was the call of the other prophets. To worship Allah alone. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran addresses him on the day of judgment. On the day of judgment, Isa ben Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary will be brought forth. And he will be questioned. Did you and your mother call to the people to worship you besides me? And then Jesus will reply by saying, Ma kultu lahum. Allah, I did not order them except that which you ordered me to do. I did not call to accept that which you ordered me. And that is, And that call was to worship. Worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. So he will bear witness against those who made him the son of God. He will bear witness against those who made him a Lord besides the Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, walillahi alhamd, the Quran is full of the stories of the prophets, the stories of Adam, the story of Nuh, Ibrahim, all the prophets. The Quran affirms and believes the sending of these prophets. But the Quran it likewise affirms that their call was one. They did not call to worship, to be worshipped. But their call was to worship Allah alone, the Creator. Nasallallahu <laughs> alaihi